D. Yeah, there we go. That's delicious. Uh, would have preferred to take that one back to Tribune Brimstone alive, but at least we're not walking away empty-handed. The Molten Alliance is taking prisoners, and we need to find them. What about the hatchery? You're good to head out. I'll finish securing the hatchery. Then I'll be asking around where they might have taken the prisoners. There's no way I'm letting them get away with this. Okay. So what happens now? All right, we said that, saw that already. That little devourer has grown attached to you. I noticed. He won't leave me alone. I might as well look after him for now since the hatchery staff is scattered. I wonder where they keep the food around here. What do you think happened here? I think the sir, that survivor in the hatchery might, not, might know more about that. I'd talk to him if I were you. What do you think the Flame Legion and Dredge are? Why do you think they're working together? Flame me if I know. It makes my fur stand on end. I can't see either the Flame Legion or the Dredge hooking up on their own. But they sure are more powerful together. Okay. Do, do, do. do it in front of the kid for the real buff. There you go. Eat it right in front of him. Long shot question. Do you have any idea where that might be? I do not. Unfortunately, Captain Fantastic. Yeah. 14 months of subbing, you boob. That's more than that fool he man. Thanks, Rose Claire. Don't got her lurk. Thank you very much. Uh, Scythio Quicklash says, Damn, good thing you came along when you did. They were about to kill me when they heard the commotion you were making up by the front gate. Uh, looks like everyone else is dead or taken. Oh my, my warbrand runs this place. I can't leave. Please, if you could find a way to rescue any that were taken, do so and make them pay our pain for our pain. I can't be the only one left. I just can't. My warband and I maintain the hatchery. We care for the baby lash tails. I've got to rebuild and resecure it now. Figure out what to do. Do you know anything about that devourer following my friend around? Every batch has a slightly odd one. That little albino lash tail is quick, quicker than the rest. Smarter too, but shy. Never really took to anyone like it did, uh, like the rest did. Seems like he's found somebody he likes now. And I say, good for him. Do you have any idea why they attacked? The North Nolan hatchery is primo. We hold the record for the most clean hatches, and we got a reputation for training them to fight. Or no, training them right. Slightly for different. 71 months? You bet your sweet little bottom it is! <laughs> What's up, Moogle Tart? Water creep high. How you doing? Thank you so much for that tier 2 resub. Look, we're playing stuff from like 10 years ago. You should be familiar with this. Yeah, Nolan Hatchery is primo. Hey, I would know. Hurts. Hi! What's going on? I know the flashbacks. The flashbacks! All right. By the way, Mugatart is our amazing artist. Does all the channel art here and our emotes. Check her stuff out right there. Go support her. All right. All right. So what's next? Read the letter from Ritlock. I can do that. As long as you're going to whole brick, you're going to get those words off my screen. <laughs> get those other words off my screen. As long as you're going to whole brick, you're going to whole brick next, right? Give that mangy old mutt Newt White Bear a message for me. Tell him I've got Norn refugees showing up in my office and I don't appreciate it, especially ones that claim to be heir's son. Oh, and I wouldn't protest if you hefted a Norn Ale. If you hefted a Norn Ale for me while you're there, it's far stronger than the watered down dirt we got at the Citadel. All right, nice. And this is from Rox. I wanted to thank you for assisting me at the hatchery, especially since it was a warband test. I wouldn't have, I would have failed if it weren't for you. That was the first stage of my trials, which mean I owe you big time. I'm still shocked that Brimstone is even considering me, but we've got bigger fillets to sear. I've been talking with a few Vigil representatives. They're closing in on the location of the Molten Alliance headquarters, at least one of them. There are hundreds of thousands of old mines lining the Shiver Peak, so it might take a little digging to track that one down. Regardless, when I find out, you'll find out. Then we'll take the fight to them. Till then, rest up. All right, sweet. Going to my, uh, my Norn's homeland here. 
Whole brick. Where are the refugee camps? It says optional. It is a gift. A gift to the friends of the otters. Strange Shay yeah, just gifted a sub to Magical Mark. A nine month free sub. Thank you, Strange Shay. All right, four more newer gifted subs. We're gonna do another Guild Wars 2 gem code giveaway. And we've got a hype train, gang. Thank you so much. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Solving. Okay, so we're in Holbrek. Does it show you where the refugees are camping? Whoa! In a world where they sub for 81 months. I scared myself with my now own this alert. This is a game I haven't seen in a long time. A long time. Hey, Lord La La La. What's going on? Thanks for the 81 months. 81, 81 months of subbing. I guess we don't need to do the optional part. Giggles Wildflower, thanks for following. Alright, I'm just gonna go back to the Great Lodge. We should do Keg Brawl. This is where you get the Norn culture armor. I remember coming here when the game first launched, be like, oh, I can't wait till I can get this stuff. Like this, this seemed like so much money at the time, right? So you got three different tiers, right? And that's for light, medium and heavy. Oh, look at this one. This was, this was crazy at the time. This amount of gold. You were like, oh man, I'll never, I'll never have this. I wore this for a while. Once I unlocked all these. Where's the shoulders? There we go. I wore this for a long time. One of the cool armor sets. Fun fact, when I was working for Massively, uh, dot com, they came to me at one point. They said, um, Amazon wants to run videos uh, that you created. I created videos about the cultural armor for the Norn and for, for, for every race, basically. And I put them up on YouTube. And Massively is like, yeah, uh, Amazon wants to use your videos um, on the Guild Wars 2 page on their site. So for a time, my videos were like, if you went to Amazon and we looked up Guild Wars 2, you'd actually see my videos showing the different cultural armor up there. It was weird. I don't still not know where that came from. It was odd, but awesome at the same time. All right, let's continue uh, the story. Listen to the conversation. Cabrin. All I'm asking is that you send a group of wolfborn to Cragstead. Dredge and Flamechar are burning our homes. I am well aware. The smart ones are evacuating, coming here, where we can protect them. The smart ones? You mean the wounded and near-death ones? The fierce are fighting, dying. I'm sorry, I can't spare anyone. Perhaps there are others who will help you. What about you, Air? Bram, you need to stay here in Holbrack. The people of Cragstead will... No! You stay, cowering around your bonfires. Soon as I restock my supplies, I'm going to give my people. I, I didn't mean... Awkward! Who was that kid? My son. That's her son, yeah. <laughs> I see the resemblance. He has your stubbornness. Oh, funny. This was big news, by the way. So, you know, 
Destiny's Edge had a novel written about about them. Um, characters from Guild Wars 1 fame. And at this point, no, until this point, we didn't know that she had a son. Yeah. The Brave Bandit, you're literally playing this alongside you for the achievements. Nice. That's awesome. All right. Doesn't Newt realize that people are dying? I guess I have to go alone. Some of my homesteaders refuse to leave Cragstead, and they're going to be massacred if I wait around for help. You don't have to go alone. I'll help you. Spirits guide you. I'll meet you at the gates of Cragstead in Wayfarer Foothills. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. See you there. All right. Hey, Magical Bark. What's up? All right. Let's talk to uh, Air. Gunvor Grimhammer, I'm sorry you had to see that. I'd help you. I'm helping if I could, you know. Well, why can't you? Holbrek hasn't seen an influx of refugees like this since the dragon's last flight. We're overwhelmed, not to mention the extra road traffic has stirred up the spawn here. Do you know what's happening? Only what I've been told. New White Bear has sent out a few scouts north to see what they could see. And those who returned told terrible stories of homesteads and ashes and the bodies of dead everywhere. What can I do to help? You're serious? Well... It would ease my mind if you talked to Bram there. My son, either convince him not to go, or if he insists, don't let him go alone to defend his homestead. Why doesn't White Bear send more? Maybe he ha many have gone already. Those who remained are needed. Part of our fear is Holbrek is the next target. We're bolstering our defenses so we can defend our elders and children. Okay, let's talk to Newt. So the Slayer's back in Holbrek. Did you think, uh, did you come to help with our Dredge and Flame Legion problem? Your timing couldn't be better. That kid, Bram, he was requesting aid. He got the idea that he has to defend his homestead from the Molten Alliance by himself. If you're not too tired to fight, please go with him. My Wolfborn and I have our friend hands full. Scattering our forces would uh, put them and Holbrek at risk. Talk to the kid. He needs help I can't provide. Wolf, go with you. All right, let's go. And this was kind of like one of the first times where we realized like, oh, wow, they're going to change the world as they put out these updates, right? Because, you know, we, the game had already been out for yeah, about six months. And, you know, I, I probably had map completion already done, explored Wayfarer Foothills. And then this whole corner up here, this Cragstead wasn't there at the launch of the game. And they kind of just modified this zone and now you can kind of go up in here and there's all new stuff. It's pretty cool. This used to be like a locked door, a locked gate. All right, battle for Cragstead. Zal and Omnistream, thanks for following. And Skizame as well, Skizame. Thank you. Meet up with Bram. All right, he doesn't say anything. He just went, come on, well, let's go. I can do this. <sighs> hey, I smell smoke. We have to go, my friends. That's a really big door, especially considering we're Norn already. The Molten Alliance is already here. No, no, I can't handle this. Justice. Bam! Come on, my strength increases. Kabram. Attackers, there. For great justice. I'm on fire. Shake it off. <laughs> it's a lock gate unless you're doing the quest. It's a lock gate always then. <laughs> Pretty much. Glad that's over. Run! That's For a great justice. 
All set. A gate pursuit. Lots of groaning going on. Wind blows. Hey, Omnistream, what's going on? How you doing? I see you came in with the raid, right? It's good to see you. Welcome on in. If anybody's new to the game and has any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, if I don't know the answer, we have very knowledgeable people in our community that have been playing this game for years. So feel free to ask, we'll get you answers. I'm not scared. Such might. Adrenaline surging. Melostar Mel says this this was the last part I did before taking a super long break from the game I was so upset when I realized how much cool stuff I missed. Oh, man. Yeah, like Like they added a lot of stuff in living world season one, like I said, they were doing patches every two weeks and They weren't prepared at that point I can take on the world To make it replayable they there they thought at the time that having like these one-time events would um be really cool for the people that were there so they didn't they didn't have a, a way to replay it once once that content was done uh obviously for living world season two they learned okay we want our players to be able to relive moments of the story and such so they they changed the technology they wait they changed the way that they delivered the content and from that point forward you could replay it and it took them just until 2022 to finally make this stuff replayable again so this is why i keep telling people you know now is a great time to get into the game for the first time because now you can actually replay it all yeah A lot of those old design philosophies got changed right around hot, right? It was for Living World Season 2. To my side. Yeah. I can take on the world. Did they actually want fear of missing out? I, I don't... Such might. I don't know if that's exactly what they wanted, but they wanted... They wanted... Um, they wanted to make memorable moments that the community would talk about for years to come. But... They quickly realized that they have to make the new player experience like equally as compelling, you know? They did a couple of one-time events where like literally like we fought this creature called the Karka Queen and it was at a specific date and a specific time. They announced it ahead of time, but if you weren't there for that, that was it. Uh, and there were lots of problems, technical issues and stuff with that. What are you doing here? So You're supposed to be they didn't do that very much after that came back for you where are the others they were chased up the mountain i i couldn't move fast enough i'll go will you be i'll be okay you be careful that guy's name was haslow some people got yeah some people got precursor legendary precursor drops some people got dc'd yeah or some people 
just got one exotic worth two gold. Don't that was me. That Karka event was pre pure chaos. It totally was. I told the story last week, but long story short, I had my dad, like I was trying to make a video of that event and I had two small kids. So I had my dad come over to babysit and I thought it was going to be like a half hour event, an hour event, something like that. It wound up being like three hours long and my dad was not happy. He didn't, he was like, are you done with that thing yet? I'm like, I no, no, I'm not done with this yet. And it just keeps going and it's so laggy and all my footage sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it was memorable I definitely remember it <laughs> oh, I'm hit the wrong button they also had a one-time event for the Mad King during that first Halloween uh, event there was a you know, kind of like a little cutscene that happened in Lion's Arch. But it was, uh, again, a one-time thing. If you were there for it, you saw it. And then and then I think they started to back off the, uh, the one-time event approach. Please, uh, after, I guess it was after they destroyed Lion's Arch. We really, really haven't seen much of that since. <sighs> yes, I'm ready to defeat anything. <sighs> You're definitely going to consider another story playthrough after seeing this. Yeah. I mean, the they don't have all of Living World Season 1 back yet, but the next uh, update is September 13th from what folks were saying. They're going to add more, but yeah, you can you can at least play some of it now of Living World Season 1 with more coming soon. <laughs> Double Norn drop. Enemy contact. This can't be happening. Not Wish you like had this. the old Lion's Arch. Yeah, it would be nice to be able to. I mean, how amazing would it be that you create a character and you you're in the old Lion's uh, Lion's Arch until you hit that point in the story, and then you get the new Lion's Arch? That would be amazing. I mean, that's probably a whole bunch of issues with that. <laughs> but I'm oversimplifying, but yeah, it'd be a cool experience. Oh, Mugatar, you just started playing Destiny 2 last night. Never tried the second yet. Since the base game is free, I figured why not? Oh, nice. I only played Destiny 2 uh, beta when it first was in beta. Azari and I played through the beta of it, like whatever the little demo was before it released. We both had a lot of fun and then just never got the game. <laughs> uh, I have um, I have tours of the old Lion's Arch up on my YouTube channel still from years and years and years ago, if anybody's curious what it looked like. Now, my video is laggy. It was very laggy. That's part of the reason why they redesigned it uh, was the, for performance issues. But if anybody's interested, you can search my YouTube channel for Lion's Arch and you'll see it. This mace will be the last thing you see. I'm going to enjoy punishing you. All right, here we go. I like that they went back and they've added stuff like the the break bar like the crowd control bar for these old encounters like Break bar wasn't there. I don't think on these mobs Way back then I think combat was just a little different Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's the case You got Destiny 2 many years ago using Bog's Humble Link, Big Swirl? Thank you. Oh, my young wolf. We should never have stayed behind. I'm glad to see friendly faces. Come on. Let's get out of here. Bram. He took Otilia and her family. Not Otilia. What? Where? Why? 
They're collecting prisoners. I don't know where they took them or why. I hate this. We have to help Otilia and her family. But first, I have to make sure these steaders are okay. I've got this under control. I've got to concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. Um, stuff. You really enjoyed the base Destiny 2, but I can't keep up with the constant moving. Uh, oh, scrolled off screen. Constant moving in that level and gear bar each update. Yeah, it's it's a it's a vertical uh, progression system. So it's you got that constant feeling of trying to keep up. Yeah, and some sometimes that's good, and sometimes it's not so good. I would like to have. Is there a Destiny type game that's more fantasy themed? Because I don't, I don't really think so, right? I thought that's what uh, Godfall was gonna be, but uh, that didn't work out the way I thought. Yeah. Uh, all right. So what do we get? We got some elaborate ritualist bags, salvage all fuse, bags, and we got another refugee child's drawing to uh, eat. Yeah. Yeah, that new Warframe looks like it'll be more fantasy. You're right. You're right. Soul frame. Yeah, I think so. You enjoyed Godfall for what it was. Could have been a lot better, but it's fun. I, I agree. I, I I could not get into like once once I played through like the main game, I was I was done. I didn't want it to to continue playing anymore. Um graphics were insane. The combat was fun, but there's just there was no world, there was no story, just it was just vapid. Yeah. 